Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I bring you today's word for November 9th, 2016. Yesterday was Election Day 2016 in the United States of America, and this morning is the day after. I'm sharing a message with you entitled, The World Needs Healing and Hope. Many are in shock this morning uh, to find out that Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton for the presidency of the United States of America. And with that in mind, as I prayed, as I always do, I sought the Lord concerning what to share with you this morning. And uh, I believe he gave me six things that will be a blessing to you. So let's get into them. Once again, the title is The World Needs Healing and Hope. Number one, the world is shocked, right? So let's just say that up front. Donald Trump beating Hillary Clinton uh, was an upset of epic proportions. Donald Trump is the first person elected president of the United States who has never served in government in any capacity or in the military. The pollsters did not see this coming at all. Uh, another thing that happened last night is the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 700 points in response to the upset win of now president-elect Donald Trump. So not only is the United States in shock, but the world seems to be in shock uh, as well. Number two, though, God is not surprised. See, God knew that Donald Trump was going to win, and he knew this from the foundations of the world. I'm not saying that God put him there. I'm saying that God knew, right? So he already knew, and he knew this from the foundations of the world. So while President-elect Donald Trump is a surprise for many in this country and around the world, those who are surprised should find peace in knowing that God is not surprised. Number three. God's plans for you have not changed. I believe this is really important uh, for people to, to kind of receive and understand. Look at me for a minute. Look, God has been speaking to you all year uh, as we've been teaching a series on focus and you've been recalibrating your focus. You've been kind of uh, getting right with God, dying to self. God has been speaking to you all year about the plans that he made for you for this year, for 2016, for 2017, maybe even the years to come. Maybe God has been speaking to you about the next three, five, you know, three to five years, seven years, 10 years, whatever. He's been speaking to you about this season and he's been speaking to you about your future. Here's my point. None of that changes because Donald Trump won. None of it. I mean, God, God already knew who was going to win. So when he spoke to you about your future, he spoke to you about your future with that in mind, taking that into consideration. So at the end of the day, God's plans for you have not changed. It doesn't change because the presidency changes. See, God is unmoved and God is unfazed. So since you're in God and God is in you and God is unmoved and God is unfazed, then you can be unmoved and you can be unfazed. The Bible says they that trust in, in God shall be like Mount Zion. Well, what do we know about Mount Zion? We know this. It ain't going nowhere. It's unmoved. It's unshaken. It's unfazed. And that's how you and I should live. Number four, God can use anyone. Let's make this very clear. Anyone who thinks that God cannot use Donald Trump as the president of the United States is someone who has never read the Bible. Uh, God can and our prayer should be that he will use Donald Trump for his glory. See, our God is in the business of making holy garments out of flawed material. Don't get it twisted. God uses you and you're flawed. Don't act like you're not flawed now. Don't tell me that you're so holy that you're not flawed. No, if you would be honest with yourself, the closer you get to God, the less you think of yourself, because the more you realize how flawed you are. And if God can use you in spite of your faults and your flaws and your failures, then surely he can use Donald Trump. Number five, as believers, watch this. This is our time to shine. I told you this yesterday. I'm coming right back to this point again today. The election has opened up old wounds and reignited old flames of division in the United States. Now that the election is over, our nation needs healing and our people need hope. And guess what? They can find both in you because you're an emissary of change. You are a carrier of God. You have to enter this day God inside minded. If God lives in you, then you can minister healing and you can minister hope if you're born again, right? So uh, he, here's a, a, a sobering reality. Listen to this for a minute. If you voted for Donald Trump, then please don't gloat. Remain humble. Why? Because many people are going to be far too emotional to handle your gloating. So if you, if you go to them and you gloat and, and you're gloating in their face and you're not humble, 
then it could lead to unnecessary strife. Now, if you voted for Hillary Clinton, then don't be bitter. All's not lost. The world is not coming to an end. God is still God. So whether your candidate won or lost last night, your eyes need to be on Jesus. Another thing, as far as being light uh, and shining in this moment, use your words today, especially today, the day after. Use your words to minister grace to one another. Emotions are going to be running high, both up and down. For those who won and for those who lost, emotions are going to be running high. Um, so where's the grace going to come from? Think about that for a minute. I mean, so with everything going on today, where's the grace going to come from? The answer is it's going to come from you. Uh, uh, Ephesians 4 and 29 in the King James Version says, Let no corrupt communication proceed from out of your mouth, but uh, only that which is good, to the use of edifying that I may minister grace to one another. Um, I'm going to read that to you again from the easy to read version. But first, let me just tell you this. The time for partisan politics and divisive rhetoric is over. The election is over. For those who won, you won. For those who lost, you lost. Now it's time to move forward. Use your words to minister grace. Once again, Ephesians 4 and 29, but let me give it to you from the easy to read version. Paul said this. When you talk, don't say anything bad. But say the good things that people need. Whatever will minister grace and help them grow stronger. Then what you say will be a blessing to those who hear you. Today, especially today, as you have conversations, allow your words to be a blessing to everyone you come in contact with. Number six and finally, last thing. Pray for our nation and the president-elect. America voted for change last night. Change is coming. Some will see this as, as a good thing and others are going to see it as a bad thing. But in the end, those who trust in God will be just fine. See, the, the new administration will have major challenges ahead. Our nation and all the elected officials are going to need our prayers. So as a believer, as God's emissary, I beseech you to pray. To pray for everyone who was elected last night and to pray for our nation. I will close with the words of Paul in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. This is what Paul said. First of all, I ask you to pray for all people. Ask God to bless them and to give them what they need and give thanks. You should pray for rulers and all who have authority. Pray for these leaders so that you can live a quiet and peaceful life. Lives full of devotion, devotion to God and respect for him. This is good, and it pleases our God and Savior. So let's close this out with a declaration of faith. I want you to open up your mouth now and declare this over your life and over this nation. Are you ready? Here we go. Say, Father, I thank you for blessing me, for being my source and my strength. Times change. Seasons change. Administrations change but you remain the same. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So I keep my eyes on you and I keep my confidence in you. I give myself over to you this morning to be used of you, to minister healing and to shine as hope in this world towards those who are gloating. You will help me to remind them to be sober and to remain humble. Towards those who are down, you will allow me to lift them up so that they can lift up their heads towards you. You have not changed. You were not surprised. You still have a plan. You're still God. You still reign. And you will still bless the United States of America. Forward ever, backward never. The best is yet to come. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org and look on the right hand side of the website and sign up and get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. I know you know someone who needs to watch this video. So share it with them as you enter this day. Just remember today's the day after the world needs healing. The world needs hope. The world will find both in you. God bless you.